In this tutorial, I'll show you a really simple and powerful trick for helping uh, get something to track along the surface of uh, maybe a mine, or some of you have mine trucks going down inside the interior of a mine, or maybe you have a vortex and something's going to swirl down onto the inside of it, and you want your object to kind of follow the contours of that surface appropriately. So, I mean, this is easy and it's powerful. All right, so let's see. So we have this just a simple plane in the scene right now. I'm just going to do nothing more than subdivide it. And I'll subdivide it enough times to give it some pretty good resolution. Nothing great. All right, so it's like that. Then I'm going to go grab this center vertex like that, go into proportional editing, make sure it's enabled. And then I will just, let me see. I'll just extrude it into Z, and I'll make sure I have enough influence here that I just make it like this, kind of to that edge, like that. All right, and then let's move it up so it's not interacting. Or let's just move this other surface down out of the way, and then we'll move this up a little bit, except I'll get out of my lights. Let's see, maybe I have enough light in there to see it. Well, if not, I'll just move the light. All right, well, that's good enough. You can kind of get an idea. So we have this little surface that we have here. And then we'll go back into edit mode just for a minute. And the, with the surface still uh, selected, I'll just uh, rotate it on Z. All right, still using the proportional editing. And this is just one way to create a surface. You might create many other surfaces. You can make concentric circles and then spin them around or whatever. But basically I want, say this is this mine or this vortex and or a whirlpool and what I want is this a vehicle. You're driving along and you come into this edge and you basically want to fuck, we'll even make this edge a little bit more like that. Let's do this. It's just not going to show up out of anywhere so Let's do this as well. Let's grab these edges here. And I'm going to just scale those out. But I'm going to take out my radius of influence here. Like this. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is basically I want this vehicle to come in and track this thing down like this and go into the in into the bottom track one of these lines down here then come back up to the other side and come out that side like that alright so what I can do is I just grab any of these lines just by do, doing selection like this and see I've, I've got that line that goes down in there and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically deselect it basically cut it out by P and separate the selection like this and then now that I have it separated out it's its own object and you can see it there it's this is it's called plane dot zero zero two and we'll just call it I'm gonna call it a curve like that and it's not really a curve yet it's just an object and you can tell because up here this button says object data but the easy thing to do now is you come over here to the menu over to object and you come up here to convert to and we're going to convert to a curve from the mesh all right so now it's a curve because you can see this thing up here whoops what happened to it that should have changed maybe I had the wrong one selected No, that's the plan. That's oh, that's the curve. I converted the wrong one. Hang on, and this is the curve. You could actually see the curve when the plane was selected. All right, and then I'm going to change that into a curve, and now you can see it's changed it to the curve symbol instead. And this one is still just regular object data symbol. All right, so then we'll make a vehicle. And we'll position it out here. You know, maybe we'll scale it a little bit in X, like that, and just give it a color. We can see it, and we'll 
bring it up here into the scene over here approximately near the beginning of that curve right like that scale down a little bit is a big vehicle you don't need to be that big you can make whatever kind of vehicle you want and then I'm going to parent that to the curve so I, it's hard to kind of select the curve when it's in this state so I'm just going to take this plane just for a second and I'm going to move it over to another layer in fact I'll even move that to another layer okay so there's the curve so now I'm going to select this and then I'm going to shift select that and then I'm going to parent it to this and I'm going to follow the path like that then I come in and bring back this other layer here and here and then if I go look up at the curve data when I grab the curve by itself right here then I come down here and I want to evaluate it over say 250 frames instead of 100 frames like that make sure I have this set up to 250 like this and then when I run it this thing should cruise in here well let's run it, it should cruise in there and follow the path all the way down inside and back up on the outside all right and there it goes so you can do all kinds of cool effects just by separating those curves out from any kind of object and otherwise you know to try and get it to follow any other way would be you know you'd have to kind of hand draw a path or something like that okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson